Hey guys, Pro 1701 here, and today we are going to be talking about Star Trek The Next Generation Season 3. And these are the top five episodes with a couple honorable mentions that I recommend if you are watching this season for the first time. If you're just getting into Star Trek The Next Generation, or you're, or you're, you know, you're familiar with Star Trek, maybe you're just getting into Star Trek, or maybe you've watched some other Star Trek and you just haven't watched Next Generation, these are the episodes from Season 3 I recommend you check out. Now, Season 3 is the first season to me, where things really got going. I think this is where Star Trek The Next Generation started getting really good. The first two seasons have a couple gems in each season, but to, they're, they're the weakest of the series. Season three is where things really pick up and where, when making this list, I actually was like, there's so many good episodes, how do I narrow it down? I had a lot of trouble with that. Whereas the first two seasons, I'm like, I've got to try to find a couple more good ones in here to make a whole list. Um, this is the first one where I had... I had uh, I knew I was definitely going to have enough to do the video without having to really think about it, except for narrowing it down. Uh, number one on the list, of course, is Yesterday's Enterprise. This episode is held high in the Star Trek uh, pantheon for a reason. It is a masterpiece of an episode. I'm not even going to say anything about it other than it's regarded as one of the best episodes in all of Star Trek for a reason. If you haven't seen Yesterday's Enterprise, make sure that is on your must-watch list. It is much-watched Star Trek and some of Star Trek at its best. Check it out. <clears throat> Moving on is a matter of perspective. This is a Riker-focused episode where we see things uh, replayed through the hollow deck from different point of views as Riker is uh, accused of murdering a scientist. This is a really good one. I really enjoyed it. It's nice seeing things play out from the different points of view. And it's a neat lesson on how people remember things differently and how people tend to, memory tends to skew things in their favor um, and how people can remember the same events differently. It's, it's very uh, applic applicable to things that happen in real life. And I really enjoy this one. Jonathan Frakes does a great job with this episode. Uh, next on the list is The Best of Both Worlds Part 1. The Best of Both Worlds Part 1 is the series finale for Season 3, and Part 2, of course, is the series or the season finale for Part 3, I should say. The season finale for, for Part 3. And Part 2 is the uh, season opener for, part, for Season 4. We'll talk about that when we get to Season 4. Best of Both Worlds is sometimes called the best uh, story in all of Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, the best episodes, and that's I think there's an objective argument to be made for that. It's not my personal favorite, but I do think it's one of the best I really, really enjoy it. There's a lot of good stuff going on here. Um, the Borg are back in this one, and they are terrifying here. They're even scarier than in Q-Who. Q-He. Q-Who. Um, and the cliffhanger it leaves off on at the end of Part 1 is one of the best cliffhangers in all the Star Trek. I mean, this is where we really see just how terrifying the Borg are and can't be. Um hell of a performance from um, everyone involved, but especially Patrick Stewart and Jonathan Frakes. Really, really, really good stuff. Must watch Star Trek. Put that one on your list. After you watch yesterday's Enterprise, you definitely want to give this one a viewing, too. Uh, next on the list is The Captain's Holiday. This is one uh, where Captain Picard is on vacation on Ryza. This could be the first, planet I the first episode I remember that mentions Ryza. I forget. Uh, nice holiday planet. Really, really beautiful place to live. Really fun episode. Uh, Picard has to team up with this woman in it, and they have a nice little bond, which I enjoy. They click really well together, the chemistry between Patrick Stewart and the actress playing her. Really, really good. And I love the little joke Riker plays on, Cat on Picard toward the beginning of the episode with the little statue. Very amusing. Very, very amusing. The kind of things me and my friends would do to each other. Fun. It's a, it's a fun episode. It's a nice kind of uh, breather. You know, you take a deep breath and pause. Uh, Good episode. Um, and number five on the list isn't necessarily one of my favorites, but I do think it's essential viewing, and that is Sarek. Uh, the episode just called Sarek, which is, of course, about the Vulcan ambassador Sarek, who is also Spock's father. Mark Leonard came back to play him again. Mark Leonard is always so good in this role, and he's fantastic here. It's a wonderful episode and also a tragically sad episode with some strong performances all around. Uh, I definitely think you should check it out. Uh, a couple honorable mentions. Uh, one is called The Most Toys. This is an episode centered on data. And it's another one of those episodes about a toy collector who takes his toy collecting too seriously. 
you see that in a lot of other stuff, uh, the Superman animated series, uh, Ninja Turtles Fast Forward. You know, they've done the toy collecting thing. It's been done a lot, but it's really good here. Basically, of course, someone wants to add data to his collection. It's, um, it's a good one. Give it a viewing. And then I also went with The Defector, which is about a Romulan trying to defect to the Federation. And I found this one really enjoyable, and I really love the ending to it as well. I was going to put Deja Q on here, but I can't actually remember what that one's about. <clears throat> Q's in a lot of episodes, and uh, usually they're good. I, I like Q. I, th I think John is great as Q. Uh, so I tend to like Q episodes. I just I forget right off the top of my head which one this particular one is about, but I have a feeling I probably like it. I need to rewatch it. So that is my list for season three. Things really pick up in season three. Uh, so give those a watch and let me know what you think of those episodes down below. Other things to do, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications so you never miss a video. I do a new video every day. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite episodes from this season are. I always enjoy interacting with you guys. Uh, also, I've started a Patreon. You can find a link to that down below. I have a poll going right now through May 15th um, on which Doctor Who story I'll be re-watching and reviewing next, and all of the options are less popular Who stories, let's say, so I'm going to have to re-watch one that's not well thought of, so you have control of that if you want to join in on that. Most importantly, though, stay safe out there, and thank you for watching.